You have to see it to believe it. That's what we're covering today. There's nothing more extraordinary than the human body. And recently we received a Twitter question from BrightBrit34 who tweeted, Hey doctors, I was wondering how long a person can actually live without a heartbeat. And this is an interesting question because without any CPR, every minute without a heartbeat increases your risk of death by 10%. So in general, if you're otherwise healthy, you'll have about 10 minutes before you likely would die. And we recently learned of an incredible story. This involves a Minnesota man named Howard. His heart stopped beating for 96 minutes. And emergency workers, they thought he was dead, but the first responders decided not to give up. And they would have given up, but they didn't because there's a new technology that's now being used in the field called capnography. And it lets them know are their CPR efforts working, or does this patient still have oxygen being delivered to tissues? So Dr. Jim, let's just say that you've had a cardiac arrest and EMS comes and they're trying to revive you. This is very simple technology that can be used on the scene to figure out if you're still getting blood flow. Jim, can you put this on yourself? Yeah, sure. And it's, Dr. Lisa, anytime you're in the OR now, I'm assuming that yeah, this is what That's your what patients are on? Mm -hmm. So something very interesting is happening here. Every breath that Jim takes, he's breathing in oxygen and breathing out CO2, carbon dioxide. This tells me his oxygen level, 97%, pretty doggone good. Heart rate, 70, pretty doggone good. This is his CO2, carbon dioxide, that's being exhaled. He's at 32, anywhere around 35 up to 40 is fairly normal. Do me a favor. Start breathing really fast, hyperventilate. <laughs> Watch this number, everyone. See how it's dropping? He's hyperventilating. He's blowing out all of his carbon dioxide. And this is why. <laughs> That's bad. Huh? I'm sorry. Yeah, you need, you need to stop now. Okay. <laughs> stop. That's why when people hyperventilate, <laughs> You'll sometimes say, use a bag, because then you're breathing back in some of that carbon dioxide. Are you starting okay. to feel a little less lightheaded? Yeah, 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 I feel good. So yeah. now, I want you to really slow down your breathing. In fact, and not hold, if you're gonna pass out. No, hold your breath. But now, breath. as his breathing slows down, this number is going to go up. But do you all see what's going on here? As Jim is taking breaths, this is telling me that he's still breathing. So I'm getting so much information from this little device. But conversely, let's say someone has stopped breathing, they don't have a heartbeat, and I'm not really sure if they're alive or not. Well, Jim, hold your breath. See this down here? You see how that's now flat? That means he is not breathing. Still don't know if he has a heartbeat or not. I'm feeling for a pulse. I'm not sure if he has a pulse. So what you're seeing right now, what you're seeing right now is there's no breathing, there's no carbon dioxide. This is where we know that CPR efforts aren't working. This patient is not having any blood flow at all. Jim is officially dead. <laughs> all right. wow. But one last comment I do want to make is we don't just depend on this. And so I don't want people to think that the minute this drops it, we give up all efforts. And I think if anything, it's just given us more opportunities to keep going. To keep mm -hmm. going. And yeah. that's what's cool is it, t these are things that help us keep going when there's a chance for survival.